Okay, what's up guys, it's Kaylin and I am back with another video. And today's video is going to be about moving to Los Angeles, but with no money. I get a lot of questions about like, how did I make it happen? How does it work? How do you move to LA? How do you make that transition? What are some things that, some tips I can give about moving to Los Angeles? And so I decided to make this video. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Hey, 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 this comes at a cost, okay? I'm giving you quality information here. So I need you to just do what? I'm gonna go and I'll send you that red subscribe button. I don't know which side it's on, you see it though. Red subscribe button, hit it. Okay, like button, there you go, done. And don't forget to share this video with anybody that you may know that's trying to move to LA. If you yourself, just save it, do whatever you need to, okay? Go for it. Okay, so yes, like I said, if you are new here, welcome. My name's Kaylin. I do lifestyle videos that do not waste your time. And so that is what we are here for. You are a person who is wherever the hell you are, and you are trying to move to Los Angeles. It is an extremely big city. It is extremely packed, and there's a lot of people coming in and out every single day. But one thing that we all know about Los Angeles is that it is expensive. It is extremely expensive to live in Los Angeles. And if you are at home with no money or little to no money, then you see that as a problem. If you have money, if you have money saved, if you are that person that's like, I have 20K in the bank, girl, this may not necessarily be your video. I have a lot of other videos that you can watch. If you would like to watch this video, you might find something helpful. However, this may not necessarily be your video, and that is okay. I will have more videos about specific things that you need to know about moving to Los Angeles later on. However, this one is specifically for my peeps that have no money. For full transparency purposes, I moved here with about two months of rent and like the gas to get here or like just miscellaneous funds because I knew certain steps that I needed money for. So I might have moved here with two, three grand maybe in the bank at the time. And I honestly had made that money within like a month. Like I literally was just like hustling hard AF trying to get as much money possible to get here. Now, that is not a lot of money. That money went very, very, very fast. And a lot of people will tell you that there's like this golden number that you need to have. And I think that's the first misconception that a lot of people have. And honestly, the number isn't real. It's not like a real number. I mean, you, Taraji P. Henson, granted, was a long time ago, moved with $500 and a kiddo. So it's like, it really depends. And it's not necessarily a set number. So I want you to get that out of your head right now. So the biggest and most important thing that I can tell you and how you can successfully move to LA honestly has little to do with financial things. It's really about why you want to move here. What is your thing? What is your reasoning? That is a personal thing that you have to talk about with yourself, girl. But you need to have that conversation with yourself, with your friends, maybe not with your friends, but talk about why you want to move to LA. You are gonna have to make sacrifices and you have to kind of weigh the pros and cons. Is my reasoning for being there worth all of these sacrifices? Because if it's not, there's always ways that you can stay where you are and then either come here super frequently, um, rent out like a little Airbnb uh, place, sublet somebody's apartment for a month or two and just see the place. There's a lot of alternatives to being in LA if you just wanna be in LA for being in LA's purposes. And for you guys that like super wanna be here for a legit reason, you're gonna have to have though that reason is gonna be your pride and joy and your strength through a lot of the things that you're gonna go through because you go through shit, girl. After you have your reasoning for why you are here is do a cost comparison. You can find these things online and I have some linked below where you can essentially type in your city and then type in the city that you want to go to. So say for instance, like me, I was going from Dallas to Los Angeles. I can do that and put those two things and it'll do like a rough estimate of like all of the little things that you may not think of. So if you were living in your city, you can look and see like what the cost comparison is. So like if you are living on this budget in your city, what would the budget need to look like right here? That's probably how you're gonna get your magic number the easiest because it'll at least give you some sort of insight as to what things are here versus there. The third thing is you need to set a budget. A lot of people, especially people like me who were not financially stable or financially literate, um, or who weren't financially literate have a problem with budgeting. And I think sometimes people think of budgeting as like this hard, super stringent task that you have to do. And yes, for certain things or for certain goals, you do have to have a strict budget. However, don't necessarily think about that right now because you're trying to just get a gauge of everything and you're trying to see how it's gonna work. And budgets sometimes need to change all the time. Like that happens, we get it. But I would not tell you that I have it all together and I am living in Los Angeles and I'm making it happen. 
However, there are sacrifices that come with that as well. You also need to know some of those variable expenses and what you are willing to sacrifice on because when I was homeless, the Apple Music was shut down, the Spotify was shut down, the Netflix was shut down, honey. We did not have any of that. Disney Plus would have been gone, okay? You might have to make some sacrifices. That $10 a month, that $20 a month, that $30, $40 a month that you are literally wasting on something that you may not necessarily need in that moment could be used somewhere else. Hell, that could be food. So you need to make sure that you have those things because a lot of things that we think are needs are really luxuries that we can live without for a month or two while we're trying to figure it out, especially when you first get here. That being said, you also need to know your non-negotiables, things that you know coming here, you are not going to sacrifice. So look at the things that you have, look at the things that you like need at your actual state where you are or in your actual area or in your actual city where you are right now, things that you actually need and that you use on a monthly basis. So you can say, hey, these things are definitely going to be in the budget. Like, girl, we need to make sure that we have at least $200 for food. We need to make sure that we have AC in my apartment. We need to make sure that we have a garage in my apartment. We need to make sure that we have a mattress. We need to make sure that we have, like whatever it may be that you are like, I specifically need this thing or these sets of things you need to make sure that you can accommodate those things looking at the money that you physically can make within a month how can you make those non-negotiables fit in that what can you take out what can you add in the last and final tip that i will can give you about moving to los angeles is to stop waiting i know that's one thing that really 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 um affected me when i was growing up was that um i was waiting i was always i'm a, a planner naturally i am a a planner of things and whether it be in my head or whether it be on paper or whether it be out loud i always kind of analyze or over analyze a lot of um and i know especially a lot of creatives they we sometimes get in our heads and we have all of these ideas in our head but putting them and getting them out there is the problem. You, you kind of have to stop that because in LA, you're gonna have to take risks. There are gonna be sacrifices, there's gonna be shitty days, there's gonna be awful times, but you're gonna make it through and you can make it through. I think the biggest thing for me when I moved was that if I was going to figure it out in Dallas, why could I not figure it out in Los Angeles? When I graduated college, I really had nothing. I didn't have a job or a, a a big boy job. Um, I didn't have a job. I didn't have a lot of followers on social media. I didn't have a lot of freelance clients. I didn't have the most expensive lenses or anything. And I still don't have a lot of those things. But it was like, okay, if I'm gonna wait to get all of those things and I can get it in Dallas before I move to LA, why can't I just figure it out in LA? So I was like, why can't I just start fresh in Los Angeles and just make some shit shake? And that's kind of what you got to do is just go for it. You just, it's kind of cliche, but just doing it. Um, a lot of times the work is only going to happen when you just actually do it. And once you get here, you have all of those variables in your face. Sitting there in your city, in your state, in your home, just contemplating all of these miscellaneous variables that could happen is going to keep you in that same situation that you're in because you're thinking about what could happen and not what is actually happening. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video. I think that I just really want everybody to understand that you can move to LA with no money. As long as you can get here, you can move here. It's just about like what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're okay with giving up. And then just doing it is really the biggest thing. It's just getting here and figuring it out. Cause trust me, honey, we're all figuring it out. Me, the person that's making 70K, the person that is the YouTuber that you're looking up to that's making 200, 300K, we're all trying to figure it out, girl. So just come on. And yeah, I hope that this helps somebody. I I hope that this gives you some information. I know it's not, like I said, that magical number of the, there is no real roadmap to making it or getting in LA. So I wanted to debunk that idea for sure. But I hope that this inspires you to at least get up and go for it and try to make those choices and get here. Now, I am not telling you to be irresponsible at all. You can tell your mama, your grandmama, all of them. I'm not telling you to be irresponsible. Do what is best for you and what is financially makes sense for you. However, once you make up that thing for you, go for it. Do it. So, okay, um, if you like this video, again, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it with 
whomever, your dog, your mama, your sister, your brother, your friend down the street that's trying to move, I don't know, your classmates, do it all, do it all. And I shall see you guys next time. Like I said, we'll have more videos about moving to Los Angeles. Things that have to do with like housing and roommates, uh, areas, all of those things. So I'll answer a lot of those questions. If you personally have some questions about moving to Los Angeles, please, please leave them in the comments below here because I want to make sure that I answer as many questions as possible because I know the questions that I've had, but I don't know everybody's questions. Um, especially if you've never been here, I would like to know what are some things that you want to know about moving to Los Angeles so I can put those in my future videos. Um, so yeah. Okay, that's really it. Okay. Hope you guys have a great one. Bye.